Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. And if you're not new, welcome back. All right, today we're covering email marketing. There's other videos in this channel that speak specifically about email marketing and how to do it at a very high level, meaning how to do it at a mass scale. So sending out hundreds, sending out thousands of emails. But this video is a little bit, little bit different. This video is for the people that are a bit hesitant to actually send emails out with, um, with email autoresponders. And I've heard reasons like cost. An email autoresponder do does cost money. It can vary anywhere from $10 a month to $50 a month, depending on the size of your e email list. So I understand that that's a true and a real cost. So there's that hesitancy of bringing on some additional software and bringing on some additional cost, which impacts your bottom line. So I completely understand that. Some other reasons that people don't bring on email autoresponders is because they don't want to have to learn another software or they find the templates a bit confusing having to format them just right and then having to send whenever whenever you want them to send and it gets a little bit complicated to where people give up on it altogether so there are a lot of people that are sending emails at a, at a very manual pace and what that means is crafting an email then copying and pasting it to that next recipient copying and pasting that same recipient uh, to a different recipient I'm sorry and then doing the same thing for the subject line so there's that manual aspect they're sending the same message but they're having to send a different a different email every single time and having to copy and paste every single time so a task that would take absolutely no time in an email autoresponder, if you set it appropriate, appropriately, can take 20, 30, 50 minutes, regardless of how, I'm sorry, depending on how long your email list is. So there's that time for money trade-off. So I want to provide a very simple, free method of sending that type of email out. If you're the type of person that sends out emails every single Monday or every first of the month or whatever cadence you have but don't have the desire or the necessity to get on an email autoresponder and have all of these fancy rules in place, then this is a solution for you. The first thing you're going to need is a Gmail account. So that's the very first and actually the only thing you're going to need is a Gmail account to make all of these features work. We're going to look at our Gmail account, which is where we send and receive email. We're going to go over to the Google Sheets, which is the Excel of Google. That's the Google's version of Excel, which essentially rivals Microsoft, the Microsoft product. You're going to need that. And then you're going to need an add-on, which... You're, when I say add-on, we are on Google Sheets. If you're familiar with Google Sheets, this is normal. This is new to you. But if you are coming from Excel world, this looks similar but not exact to what you're used to. And when I say add-ons, I mean this little thing right here. And the add-on that we're looking at is yet another mail merge. So what we're going to do is send... These, I, I fill these in. Let me add just one more real quick. These are all my, these are all my emails. Well, some of them, I still have more. But I wanted to provide a, a sample so I wouldn't have to blur out all my emails out um, of the actual clients. So what we're doing here is we are taking all of our emails, so our email list, and we're taking first name and last name. If you would like, you don't have to include first name and last name, but we are taking this and we're going to send each individual or each email that is on this list is going to receive the same message without me going over and sending three individual emails. Now, it's not impressive the way that it sits right now because we're looking at three emails that takes um, that doesn't take any time at all. 
However, when you start sending 30 emails out, 100 emails out, 1,000 email times, you can see that it gets a bit cumbersome. So this is, this is a solution for those folks that are wanting to send a more manual email and may not necessarily have a huge email list. The reason I say may not have a huge email list is because this is free up until 50 send, so five zero. You can send five, uh, 50 emails in a day for free. There is an additional cost if you're gonna see more, if you're gonna send more. So first things first is having your email list set up and you're gonna need it on a Google Sheet, which is what you're looking at right now. Second thing you're gonna do is craft what you want to send. So this is gonna be, um, testing yet another mail merge and then we're going to put first name hey this is a test cheers all right and now we're going to leave it we're going to leave it at, at, at this which essentially is a draft we're going to x out of it and we're going to send that message to these individuals, so essentially it's me, but to this three emails right here. We go to add-ons. If you don't have this like I do already, you just go to get add-ons, and when you click on that, it's gonna take you to a place where you can search for it. And then over here is where you would search for yet another mail merge, download it, and you're off and running. So again, it's a free, no cost to you, software and solution for you if you're sending out emails with any regularity but not necessarily the whole massive email list that uh, I speak to in other other uh, other videos so what we're gonna do is go to yet another mail merge and then start the mail merge and you see here the personal plan $24 a year, so if you want to send about 400 emails per day, it's going to cost you 24 bucks. In the grand scheme of things, it's pretty inexpensive in comparison to a email autoresponder. Um, and then you get, the more people that you invite, the, the more emails that you get. So that's pretty cool if you want to, if you have some friends that could use this and they sign up, you get some additional benefits of some additional emails per day. And I already sent, I sent two emails out earlier in this method, so I have 48. So trust me that there's 50 emails per day on the free version. We're going to go to continue. Then we're going to select the, oh, there's already one. Anyway, testing. And this is the subject header that I put on the, on the email over here, on the drafts. So I have two drafts. Apparently, I already have a testing yam. Okay. So I select it, and then I want to track emails open, clicked, or bounced. They're on column D on this sheet. It'll it'll look like a different column for you. You're gonna you're gonna see the tracking if it's opened or if it's been sent, if it's been bounced. You're gonna see that as far as getting some feedback. What happened to your emails? You press send. All emails have been sent. And then you monitor if they've been opened or not. And that's my that's my notification that I got some emails. So that's it. Again, if you're hesitant to get a email autoresponder because of the cost, or maybe you don't uh, want to mess with the templates. We don't want to mess with the rules of if this, is, if this gets open, then do this. If you want something a bit more simplistic, but it's going to save you time, because you may be sending the same message 50 times already, and I, I venture to guess that many of you are with every, at the start of the month, trying to resurrect, resurrect some old leads, trying to do a follow-up or sending well wishes, whatever the case may be, and you're having to do the copy and paste or do the blind blind carbon copy, so the BCC, which at the end of the day doesn't look all that well because people know that they are being blind copied. This at least gives the illusion 
that you're sending every single person a unique message by including their first name and they are receiving the email from a to subject if 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 it makes sense let's see from a to perspective versus a carbon copy would wouldn't make sense here because you'd actually be copying everybody else and when you send this email it doesn't it doesn't send it doesn't make other people it doesn't show other people's email and then the blind carbon copy people know that they are being blind blind carbon copied so when you're sending it's as if you're sending individually to that person and you don't certainly you don't want a, a carbon copy which copies everyone else and it presents better than having a blind carbon copy so that's it if there's any questions comments or concerns about email marketing please feel free to reach out outside of that like comment share subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.